Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another half case break of 2022 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. People in the soccer mood now, the 30% off helps as well. Six boxes, half case, second half of this case, pick your team 16, all card ship. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Nice little rally around this break here on a Monday. Thanks for spending, spending a bit of your Monday with us as well. Daniel with that double last spot mojo got Australia and Wales. Stephen Carney got the 11-team combo. Those are the teams involved in the combo right there. Thanks, everyone. Now, remember, a little bit earlier tonight, I marked all those boxes 16 right there so we know that they're all from the same case. And we don't have, I think, I don't think we have any more Prism World Cup. We got NT on the site, NT Road to World Cup. If you want to get into that to close out the night, ladies and gentlemen, we will have a little bit of time after this break. That could be a fun way to end it. I'm sure we'll try to dig up some more of this Prism World Cup. Keep an eye on the website for its return. All cards shipped. I, I don't think we have seen the case hit. Oh, Ernie, yeah, you must have just missed me saying that 30 seconds ago. No, no more no more Prism. But we do have NT World Cup on the site. And we'll uh, we'll try to we'll try to get I'm sure we'll be we're trying to get some more of this stuff. Prism World Cup. Alright. Pink parallels, not numbered. But all card ship. Ricardo Pepe will ship. That goes to Sean Maddock and the USA. I'm sure he'll feature in four years when it's when the World Cup's out here. Nice. We've got a manga, Hyunmin Son. Ah, there, it's a little bit of a dent in that corner. Which is unfortunate, but Korea, that'll be for you, Andrew, with that one. You might be able to... I'm going to send a... Uh, does this have a... I'm going to send one of these UPC codes. Sometimes you need this box number right here, that stamp number, and a wrapper. It might send you a replacement. For that, uh, that manufacturing issue there. All right, there's Julian Alvarez for Argentina. That's going to go to Larry. There's Coutinho for Brazil. That's going to be for Michael Duan. Julian Alvarez getting some regular starts. Serginho Dest and Yunus Musa. Good connections. Silver here. That's for the U.S. It's for Sean Maddock. Uh, looked pretty good. I think maybe in four years they could be somebody's. They could, they could make some noise. It's Cristiano Ronaldo Silver. He might might make some noise tomorrow. And there, 
knockout match. Robin Gosens, 189 out of 199 for Germany. We got Hassan Al Haidos for Cutter. We got Noah Okafor, 001 out of 399. We'll see the Swiss in action tomorrow against Portugal. We got a Salam Al Dasari, rookie silver. I think he was the main goal scorer for Saudi Arabia's campaign this year. And there, we got Unai Simone. Nice. For Espana. We'll see Spain in action tomorrow. Rob with that one. Cody Gapo. Making a name for himself. That'll be for the Netherlands, Dan Leo and the Orange. There's Joe Rodone, 273 out of 299 for Wales. It's going to be for Daniel. All right, and that was box one. Yeah, that is the case hit, Stephen. Which is why I think if uh, if Andrew, con with all that information, contacts Panini, I might give him a replacement card in return. I hope. There's Emiliano Martinez to 299. And there's Memphis Depay, 131 out of 199. And we got Edison Cavani. We got Anthony Robinson, 292 at 399. T 
Thiago Silva. More Ricardo Pepe for Sean. And we've got Giovanni De Lo Celso, uh, Giovanni Lo Celso, that is. International Inc. autograph. Larry in Argentina. We got Leon Goretzka, 147 out of 999, 399 that is, Lyon. For Germany, that'll be for David. Another Gakpo. We got Johan Vasquez. It's always a young player in almost every World Cup that that makes some noise. Looks like Cody Gakpo is is the one this year. Next box, good luck. We got some blue here, 17 out of 299, Briel and Bolo for Switzerland. That will be for Nicholas, Nicholas S. We got for Morocco, we got Ryan uh, Maye, 12 out of 399. And Maye? Sometimes we we'll get a little M pronunciation in front, but. So we'll see Morocco in action tomorrow. Another Julian Alvarez. It's been looking pretty good too. And we got for Senegal, Abdou Diallo, 145 out of 199. Part of the uh, the uh, eleven team combo, that combo spot for Steven. And we've got Anthony Marshall. 
for Le Bleu, for France. That's for Sean Maddock. Out of 25. Nice. Then we've got a Joachim Miley. 383, 363, 363 out of 399 for the Danes, Denmark, Kevin. We've got for Cutter, we've got Pedro Miguel. Golo Cante. Gabriel Martinelli for Brazil, Michael. And Noah Okafor for Switzerland. All right, next box. Here's the second half of the second half of the case. And we've got oh, a little smiley face from Roberto Pereira. That's nice. I'll take it. Little inscription. Larry with Argentina. And 11 out of 22, Rafael Liao. I'm seeing more of these, uh, I'm sure there's the, I don't know what the proper name for it is. I'll have to look it up. But the out of 22 parallels, I've been seeing a little bit more of. Like a, I feel like I haven't seen too many of those. The burgundy or Bordeaux or Merlot color. Now for the orange, uh, Kutmanayers. More Julian Alvarez. Got a red rookie. We got Saeed. Eza Tolahi for Iran, 200 out of 399. Robert Lewandowski, silver. And we got Jao Filiš, 10 out of 199. Portugal. That's going to be for Ed. And Diago Jota, another one for Portugal. Liverpool guy as well. I like his game. Along with Cristiano Ronaldo. They got some names on that team. Like sometimes they switch off and, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll let some silly results happen. But there's Alistair Johnson for Canada. 
rookie silver for Sean Maddock. But on paper, that Portuguese team looks looks really good. Nice, Mike Tower. Thanks for the research. Cardboard connection has added twenty two as maroon. There you go, maroon. I like Merlot better, but we'll go we'll go. Ooh, nice. Casper Schmeichel. I, they, they've got a little, it's probably from the manufacturing process. Those little smudges right there, like looks like a, I don't know, some sort of track mark or something like that. But I feel like that's something that could be cleaned up a little bit. But that's another case hit. National Landmarks, Denmark. That's for Kevin. I've never been to Denmark, but I, I, I would assume that's what it, that's what it looks like. I mean, that downtown card's, that National Landmark card's not lying. There's Marquinhos, 44 out of 299. Blue for Brazil, that'll be for Michael. And we've got a rookie silver for Argentina. That's Gonzalo Montiel. You're welcome, Mike. Uh, you're welcome, Kevin, that is. Um, and Mike saying, for the rest of this break, you'll be Schmeichel Tower, right. Yeah, no worries, Kevin. I feel like you can clean up that card a little bit. I also, I don't know what, what it is. Maybe someone else, there's like a little, I think I saw this in another one too. A little line right there. But just wanted to highlight that for you, so. You know what to expect when you get it. Something ha must have happened in that manufacturing process when they were inserting the inserts. So all the other cards look, look pretty clean in terms of right out of the package, so I think I've noticed that with some of the case hits. It almost feels like they were manufactured at a separate time and then set aside and then brought back to be inserted in and something must have happened along the way. Got a national pride card for Ghana, Felix uh, Afena, Guyan, silver. That's part of the, the combo spot. Another Martinelli for Michael in Brazil. And then we got the hyper parallel rookie, Zhang Wu Young for Korea. That'll be for Andrew. Here's Ruben Diaz, 99 out of 199 for Portugal. That'll be for Ed. There's Hyunmin Son, silver. And a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption for bragging rights? There's Ronald uh, Arujo, 53 out of 399 for Uruguay. Brian H. Morocco, silver. They're in the knockout stages. They're going to try to knock out Spain tomorrow. Be a bit of an upset. Darwin Nunez, Argentina. Kevin's hoping Darwin Nunez. That would make Brian Heyman very happy. He's got Uruguay.
Is he a known redemption? There's Erman Luza for Morocco, rookie hyper. Another Julian Alvarez. And we got for France, we got uh, Presnel Kimpembe. 264 out of 299 for Le Bleu. Sean with France. We got Kaludu Kolibali, 56 out of 299. For Senegal, that's part of the combo team. Steven with the combo spot. We got Carl Toko Ekambi for Cameroon. I guess. Uh, Bunch of uh, North African, Central African teams, West Africa teams trying to put together some bids for a World Cup. Could be interesting. All right. The redemption is... It's Diogo Jota. For Portugal, that's for Ed. And a, uh, a Liverpool player as well. Pretty exciting player to watch. Let's see if he can make some noise in the World Cup. Wait, is he fit for the World Cup? No, I don't. I actually don't think he's been playing. Yeah, because 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 um, he he got yeah he got a calf injury. That's right. He got a calf injury back in October, and he he's not going to be back for club until February, which means he's definitely missing the World Cup. Unfortunate. It just hit me because I was like, wait a second, I haven't seen him at all on the pitch. He'd definitely be getting minutes if he was healthy. And then I realized, yeah, that's right. I was like, I haven't seen him for Liverpool in a while too. All right, final box, ladies and gentlemen, final box. Good luck. Been making some really good time on this break. I think I got sidetracked in the previous break on looking up stuff for future World Cups and whatnot, but I'm excited about the next World Cup. 2026, right here in the United States. And at some point this month, I think they typically announce the next World Cup, this World Cup. So there's a lot of interesting bids happening. Where would you like to see it? That's a good question. Where would, for those of you listening, where would you like to see a World Cup? Where would you like to see a World Cup happen? I know, I think Argentina. I think a lot of countries are teaming together, like the North America one. I think feel like a lot of t countries are kind of teaming together to do joint World Cups. So I know that like, I know that like Argentina and a couple other countries are trying to make something happen. I think Mexico's putting in a bid. Portugal, Spain, I think, are putting in a joint bid. I think Egypt might put in a bid. Talked about some of the Central African, West African team, uh, countries might put together a bid. Um, 
So yeah. There's a pre-drug, Rajkovich, 84 out of 290 in Japan. That would be a cool one. Yeah, when when was the when was the Japan Korea World Cup? That was a long time ago, right? Could deserve a return to that neck of the world. There's Moises uh, Caicedo, rookie silver for Ecuador. That will be for uh, the combo spot. I wouldn't mind uh, seeing. Australia host one. Oh, nice Jonathan David, blue mojo, 15 out of 75 for Canada. And that will be for Sean. Thought Canada might be a Cinderella team. They had a really good qualifying, but got a young team. They'll be they'll be fine, I'm sure. Now I wouldn't mind going to Australia for a World Cup. For Iran, there is Ali uh, Goli Zadeh. That's for the combo spot. We've got Yusef Polson to three ninety nine for Denmark. That'll be for Kevin. We're getting towards the end here. I think that's our last autograph. And it's Giovanni Lo Celso, International Inc., another one for Larry and Argentina. Nice. All right, now let's see what other fun parallels we have to close out this break. Got a red Rafael Liao, 64 out of 399. We got for Saudi Arabia, Sult uh, Sultan Al Ghanam, rookie pink. I think Saudi Arabia might be might be uh, making a pitch for the World Cup, but I think since it's been in Qatar. I I think they might do it elsewhere. And this rookie silver is the last thing here. It's Alexander uh, Ziku for Ghana. That's part of the combo spot. And that's that, gang. That's the break. Appreciate everyone getting in. Quick little recap here. Thanks, everyone, for watching and for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next soccer break, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.